okay okay fine i think majority of the students know what is placentation and its definition so we'll move to the slides okay so what is placentation and what is estivation so we are moving to the topic the placentation of see the look at the placentation it is the arrangement of placentas inside a flower or a fruit placentas in the udeshikana the ovules in the arrangement dana our ovules are placenta like attached okay so there are different types of placentation that is axial placentation free central placentation parietal placentation marginal placentation and basal placentation along with that we learn epical placentation also so look at the diagram the first hope you could see the pointer the axial placentation here you could see the center axis onto which you could see the ovules are being arranged in the uh, right side uh, top you could see that there's a tomato and a cucumber or the uh, cucumber Okay, that is all about axial placentation and parietal placentation. See the arrangement of the ovules on to the margin of the ovary wall. See, look at the tips. Fine. So, now we'll have the basal placentation towards the base. I think somebody is disturbing. Wait a minute. Uh, Govind, Govind Krishna and Ring. Okay. So, we'll start again. Okay. Now, what is basal placentation? The basal placentation means you could see the ovary in the ovary base, you could see the ovules are being hanging. Okay, see the diagram here. This is the one you could see that. I'll come to the slide too. Okay, here you could see that if from the base, you see the arrow from the base of the ovary, you could see the ovules are being jumping out. Okay, in rosaceae family and all you will see this inferior ovary condition. Inferior ovary, namak kaana the rosaceae family le namak kaana, uh, rubiaceae family le kaana. Okay, adi lakka inferior ovary aana. Pe inferior ovary da tabis, adi the tarde da na funicular. I attachment point da na funicular. I funicular inda avada naana namada ovules are being arising. What about epical placentation on the top? On the top portion, you can see the apical placentation. Uh, this has been hanging from the top, from the apex. Okay. In the example, can you see number one? No, number mango, mango for a indicator. You will see from the top. You could see from the apex. You should see hanging of the ovary. Okay. And what about parietal placentation? If it is under term, I am going to tell you symbol and compound carpel. Symbol carpel means unilocular. Compound carpel means there are lot of locules. See. So that is all about our compound carpel. The compound ya can't see connect the mode can't see connect compound carpel. Okay, uh, this is basal classification. See, yes, I'm going to be a single carpel. We are saying it's single carpel. Okay, single locule. Okay, it's single carpel. Okay, it's single locule. Okay, it's single locule. Okay, it's single locule. Okay, it's single locule. Okay, it's single single carpel. Okay, it's compound carpel. Okay, multiple locules. Okay, multiple ovules are attached. Okay, no. This gap is this pericarp, this placent, this is three gaps. This is a compound carpel. Three carpels are called compound carpel. Okay? Parietal placentation is the majority of compound carpel. See the parietal placentation on the top right side. You could see the parietal placentation. Here the ovary walled side line is called the ovary walled side. Ovary walled side line, we can see the ovules is being attached. Okay? What about axial placentation? We will see the CS at 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 the CS Okay, so we will see the arrangement of the uh, what ovules on the uh, what uh, axis, okay, axis in compartmentalized. Okay, compartmentalized at the CS ovules are attached to the Radial poxon of the skin other gap in the other lap compartment in the other radial poxon of the skin other. Okay, the axial placentation is also seen in compound carpel. But the ticket the number every day key on a compound carpel is in a and the placentation example. So we should write it as parietal axle. Okay, 
പക്ഷേ വാട്ട് അബൌട്ട് ദവർ മാർജിനൽ മാർജിനൽ പ്ലാസൻറ്റേഷൻ ഇസ് മെയിൻലി സെയിൻ ഇൻ ലെഗ്യൂൺസ് ആൻഡ് സിമ്പിൾ കാർപ്പൽ ആ പോയിന്റ് ഒന്ന് നോട്ട് ചെയ്ത് വെക്കുക സിമ്പിൾ കാർപ്പലിലും ലെഗ്യൂൺസിലാണ് മാർജിനൽ പ്ലാസൻറ്റേഷൻ കാണുന്നത് ഓക്കെ സോ ആക്സൈൽ പ്ലാസൻറ്റേഷൻ പെറൈറ്റൽ പ്ലാസൻറ്റേഷൻ and uh, remaining are majority you could see compound carpel laana kaanada and what about marginal only one side you could see the placenta and on to that the ovules are being arranged but our pea plant in the padam ningalku kaanum thaade ningalku kaana marginal placentation in pea plant see how nicely oru vashathalle placenta ullu adondana the ovules are being attached okay free central placentation free central placentation how you could see that the on to the center on to this axial column every ovules are been arranged every ovules are been arranged in the axis okay ivada compartment onnum illa there is no compartment and see the axial column and the pointer kaanan pattunu vishwasikkunu this axial columnilana the ovules are been arranged see how nice this is ls and this is cs cs ls ok edukka ningalku ariya cs view ne you could see like this and ls view down portion you could see like this okay so example for free central placentation example choichal dianthus and primrose nu varna plant aanu pinna kiwi kiwi fruit le adile namukku free central placentation kaanam okay le so we we'll move to the next slide ipo njan oru link kaanikkam you just watch that link cheppa sound undavilla no problem you just watch it okay It's taking time. We just wait for some time. So in this uh, video, you could see the different types of class editions. We will add it together. Let the ad finish. Want to learn Python but worried about how to get started? Udemy makes it incredible. Okay, so we are going to see this uh, presentations also. And it will be very useful for you to understand different types of class editions. Placentation. The method of arrangement of ovules in the ovary of gynecium is called placentation. Part of the ovary that bears ovules is called placenta. Placentation is of following types: one, marginal; two, parietal; three, axial. Four, free central. Five, basal. Six, superficial placentation. Marginal placentation. The ovules are born along the ventral structure of the ovary. It is found in unilocular ovary. Example, dolichas. Parietal placentation. The ovules are born. on the inner walls of the ovary or on intrusions of the wall that form incomplete partitions or four septa within the ovary it is also found in unilocular ovary example brassica cucurbita axial placentation the ovules are attached to the central axis of the ovary it is found in by to multicapillary ovary example hibiscus free central placentation the ovules are born around the central axis freely it is developed from axial placentation with the degeneration of septa the ovary is multilocular in the young stage and unilocular in the mature state example dianthus basal placentation the ovules are born at the base of the ovary in this one or few ovules are present it is also found in unilocular ovary example tridax helianthus superficial placentation the ovules are born all round the inner surface of the septa example nymphia style it is an elongated part of the gynecium present between ovary and stigma depending upon the position the styles are of three types one terminal 
two, lateral, and three, gynobasic style. Terminal style. The style arises from the apical part of the ovary. Example, hibiscus. Lateral style. The style arises from the lateral side of the ovary. Example, mangifera. Gynobasic style. Style arises from the base of the ovary in between the four locules. Example, osimum. Stigma. It is a terminal part of the gynesium. It receives pollen grain at the time of pollination. It secretes substances during fertilization. Pollen grains germinate on the stigma by absorbing stigmatic secretions. This concludes the study of flour. Now it is time for fast revision of very important points from this chapter. Okay, I think uh, this part is clear for you. So we'll move with the presentations. Okay, now. Your business idea needs a website, so go to Wix.com. I know what you're thinking, another Wix ad, but before you skip, think about it. Okay, so we'll move to the, with the slides. So what we, what we understand from the slide is that we have uh, gone through the different types of placentations and uh, we what you have to learn is uh, regarding the examples examples are very important but examples are going to focus on the okay uh, you have cooked bitters in the placentation aid on a I'm going to take a picture you can let Diane this in the placentation aid on a I'm going to teach you much to put you okay now we'll move to the arrangement of the uh, sepals and petals on the what the on the flower okay that is estivation so different types of estivation okay and the arrangement of calyx and corona basically number particular estivation of another valvate twisted imbricate quintanchial and vexillary it three on a number of particular estivation the period valvate only for a valvate twisted imbricate Quintanchial and vexillary. Okay. This term you will be able to understand. Valvate. Valvate means the Pibra can't take another Nokia Ibra can't take the petals fused and they are very much free. See, you when you draw the petals, kind of a gap under see the gap petals in a shape under if it is if there is a gap. If there is no any overlapping of the petals, it is known as valvate estivation. They are the petals or the sepals are very much free. Or flower budded So estivation can be identified from a flower bud. When you take a flower bud, if the uh, what if the petals are not at all overlapping, they are called as valvate estivation. What about twisted? Twisted like under or the overlapping on. One is being seated, one end is being seated on the other end. Twisted fashion lana, the petals are being arranged. One above the other. Overlapping is seen. Okay, a term or connect. You would overlapping in la, valvate low overlapping in la. On the note, you look valvate low overlapping in la. Twisted, there is an overlapping of the petals. And what about imbricate? Imbricate, you would this is one is completely outside. Another one is completely inside and the remaining three is half in and out. That is imbricate estivation. Imbricate estivation on the One petal is completely out and the petal is completely in and the remaining three petals are half in and out. That is imbricate estivation. What about quintanchial? Quintanchial two petals are outside. Two petals are inside and one is half in and out. Clear on the two petals are outside, two petals are inside, and one is half in and out. That is quintanchial. Okay, and what about vexillary? Vexillary are the kind of people and 
P plan is a standard petal and a lateral petal and a keel petal. Okay? This is our vexillary. P plan is a standard petal and a lateral petal and a keel. K E E L. Keel petal. Okay? This is about our vexillary. In valvate, there is no overlapping. The petals are uniformly arranged. What about our twisted? In twisted, we could see that they are overlapping. The petals are overlapping. What about imbricate? In imbricate, you could see one is completely in, other is completely out and the remaining three is half in and out. And what about quintensial? There is one is, uh, one, 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 two is completely out, two is completely in and one is half in and out. What about vexillary? One standard petal and down, one lateral petal and down, and one keel petal and down. That's what we have to do in the plant. So this is all about our estimation. We have to do a little bit of a month's lack of money. We have to do a slide. In the imbricate, we have to do overlapping. Because in the imbricate, we have to do one thing. Or in them out, them back you will be a half in a half out down. So there is overlapping. What about twister? Twister is one above the other. They are overlapping. Hibiscus is an example for twister. Important, you should give for the examples. Example is important. So you could, I will explain to you. If you are in the Kaysia species, Kaysia is the Cisalpinaceae family. Apam, a Kaysia species itu imbricate je, ada example lain tu kahana. Ibu tu diagram kahana, imbricate je kahana. Kena, e flower completely out dan, okay? E e oru e oru flower completely in dan. Baki moon anam half in half out dan. Ini kita kahana kaya macam ni. I don't know how to show you, but if we get a big flower, I'll show you. I got only a small flower. Okay, next class we'll go with the live views regarding this. Okay, so ada ana ini. Imbricate estimation. What about twister? Twister ada ni, orang ini dah ada orang lain tu, mana kahwin ada? Okay. What about open estimation? Open ada valve. There will be no overlapping. A word mana? Sepals or petals they do not overlap each other or touch each other. Brassica family. Okay. Brassica mana tu? Ini nama kita mustard kelir. Mustard kelir mana tu? Crucifer. Crucifer family ni mana? Okay. Now next is our valve, valve distribution. Open distribution is the same as the valve distribution. It is being, they doesn't touch each other, there is no overlapping. Example, anona and calotropis. Anona is the same as the seed of the custard apple. Okay, calotropis is the same as the seed of the plant. We will look through that, okay, don't worry. So, this is our slides regarding placentation and distribution. And... Now we will move with the floral formula and floral diagram. We will move a little faster. Because in the last class we have already dealt with the... We have already dealt with some other... Placentation types. Now we will move a little faster. Now we will move a little descriptive placentation types. Uh, okay, let me ask you one question. Which placentation you like? Which placentation you like? Like. Can you please type it in your chat box? Which placentation you like? Or it is orange turned out. Twisted on Avalin. Okay. In the one that twisted, he discussed it twisted. I don't know. Okay. Fine. Oh, I will in receive come to study on it. Okay, back to study on it. Okay, no problem. Deepthi, what about you? You don't have any wish? Which placentation you like? Oh, valvate and to study on it. Fine, fine. Send me to valvate on it. Deepthi also valvate. What about you, Deepthi? So simple, you need to learn. Okay, valvate. Oh, vexillary. Akshay will have vexillary. Okay. Axillary because P plant is showing axillary, fine. So mega is twisted and sneha kum valve chan. So I think majority. Oh, first na is saying imbricate is good. Okay, imbricate. Namma Kaysia plant le. Adha kanikon nai le. Kanikon nai le. Namma ka kaana na the imbricate fashion ana. No problem. Very nice it is. Fine. Hisna valve, Devika valve. I think majority is valve. 
First line is showing imbricate. Vexillary for Rosnia also. Yes, somebody also, Arjun and Dunal. Arjun is also having vexillary. P plant is a vexillary. P plant is a vexillary. Valvate is a vexillary. Valvate is a vexillary. Valvate is a vexillary. If you twist it, we have a lament. Columbi pool is a twisted. We discuss it and twist it. Okay. So I think uh, only this much. Nobody else is having to discuss regarding placentation. Which placentation you like the most? Govind Krishnan? Illay. Govind Krishnan, what about you? Ambirisha is a flower in the What is that? Rose is a Okay. Rose is a placentation. Just almost twisted. Spiral type. Le. Okay. Very good, uh, Ambirish. Fine. What about Hari? Hari is a Hari is a Okay. Pranesha. Which type of uh, placentation you like, Pranesha? Chandana, Chandana, you have written. Ashwin, Fasna, Fasna uh, told me that she likes imbricate estivation. Uh, uh, then, uh, okay. What was my question? And the question and there, no, what was my question? What is my question? Okay, which placentation you like, man? It's over there. You all are ready for the estivation. Okay, you don't know what is placentation and estivation. And then I will call up. There are two concepts that you should understand. What is placentation and what is estivation? Estivation is when you have arrangement of flower and the petals and sepals. So, what was my question? My question was on placentation. Different types of placentation. Can you retext again? Retext again. What is placentation? Okay, Donna is having axile. Fine. Axile placentation. Marginal placentation for Isana. Avalin, axile. Hasna. Free sandal and Fasna. Free sandal. Rose and free sandal. Kiwi and Rishton. Okay. Marginal for Cesara. Okay, you like pea. Majority you like pea type plants. Cesara, Cesara, Shashiki. Okay, parietal for Rasia. Fine. Marginal for Misra. Then uh, Arshak uh, marginal. Okay. Basal is an ethic basal. Tridax. We have to say that we Tridax. Commonly weed at the Kalana. It is having basal placenta. Pranishak basal. Okay. Deviga Anisha marginal. Mega Andrews free central. Akshay parietal. Wow. Akshay. Let's cook a bit slight. Cucumber wine is strong all on a car, right? And out, okay. Fine. So can we move to the next presentation? Okay, fine. So, I think uh, now we got an idea regarding our uh, what uh, estivation and placentation. Fine. In the particular, the estivation means what arrangement of sepals and petals on the flower bud. What about placentation? Arrangement of ovules on the ovary, okay, on the axis and the laxis. Fine. So, are you going to get the what is estimation and what is uh, placentation? Uh, Deepthi, make it sure that what is uh, estimation and what is placentation. Donna Davis, everyone. everyone okay. So, now we will move to the next uh, portion that is our uh, flower arrangement, flower formula, floral formula. In the next, we are going to deal with. Okay. So, we will look through what is happening there and uh, hope you will understand through this slide. Okay, so from the beginning we will start. See, floral formulas and diagrams. Okay, it is a shorthand method. It is a convenient shorthand method for recording our floral symmetry, number of parts. Coronation means uh, without, uh, without fusing and adnation means fusion. Okay, insertions and any insertions are there in your flower and ovary position. Either this is very important. Okay. In the or floral formula, in the name floral formula in diagram. It is a shorthand method. Okay, you should understand. Examining statement is correct. It is a shorthand method for recording. If I ask you the definition for floral formula and the diagrams, you need to mention the statement properly as it is a shorthand method of recording floral symmetry, number of parts, coordinations means. The, they are not fused, okay? And adnation means they are being fused. And our term is adnation, attachment. 
Insertions, if there is any insertions on that and the ovary position. Okay. Now, we have to the floral form formula. And uh, what about this? Uh, in the base, you could see the floral formula. Okay. At the top, right, you could see the floral diagram. See how nice it is. Okay. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 names ready. 4 under. 4 is the brat. Okay. What about the 3? Epicalyx. What about our 2? They are the calyx. Okay, what about our one axis? Okay, in four, five, six, seven, we add it all. Okay, so if you flower bud, the matter of the branch, it all. And you could see the position of the bracts. Nalam the end bracts, the man outer in another starting there. Okay, nalam the end of the bracts. Third one is a epicalyx, and second one is a calyx, and the first one are rounder. It is top level rounder. That is the axis. An, a the straight axis. An. Side axis are we'll deal with that one. Okay. In our left to the see the point here. See, this is our symbol. This is our actinomorphic. This is a bisexual. Bisexual. And uh, this is K means calyx phi. In a bracket in the fuse done. C means what? C means our corolla. And it is also five numbered and fused. A is means and resium and it's five number but it's not fused. But calyx and andresium has been fused. Calyx and andrite fused. Calyx and uh, corolla uh, and petal has been fused with the petal has been fused with the and the, this is known as epipetalous condition. Other one down in the line on the number. We will study that. We will study that. We will gynesium. What about gynesium? We will study the line on the so, either over here, no, no, this is a line on a line of the deep only a little So, this is known as superior over here and the carpillary. There's all messy family in the corona in the floral diagram. And what is floral formula? I did with you. I think it is okay for you. What is floral formula and floral diagram? Okay, now we'll move to the detailed view of floral formula. Okay, in the how to make a floral formula, it consists of five symbols indicating from left to right. Okay, we'll look through what is that. First symbol is the or axis and the linear. So that is the axis is known as our what stem. Stem axis. round down stem axis. Okay. Stem axis is the, our floral symmetry. Then comes what you have the bract. Bract in the presence of stem axis is very important. You need to draw this diagram. You have to first Draw the stem axis and you need to draw the bracket. Bracket and little bracket worker. Okay. Now look at the symbol of the sepals. Sepals are on a button. Other triangle shape, extended triangle shape. See, extended triangle shape on the sepals. If it is sepals, you could say that one is uh, outside, one is inside. One is outside and the remaining three are half inside and outside. This is known as imbricate estivation. Okay, imbricate. Pronounce the term. Imbricate estivation. Okay, so this is all about our sepals. Sepals in the diagrammatic representation, you will see the symbol as extended triangle form. Triangle shape is extended. extended. And the axe is extended. Okay. So that is about the sepal arrangement. Then comes our next fellow. Next is our petals. See the crescent shape on petals were chicken. Crescent shape on petals were chicken. Very nicely red color portion. Did you see? And, uh, and you could see that they are fused. You see, valvate on a paksha fused on a anja petal and the paksha the few ear. Here bulging under thumb will crescent shape and attach in a bulging on and the, that is the fused symbol. So this is the five petals. What a nice it is. See the stamens. Stamens are see see the stamens or kidney shape pattern stamens. Okay, actually, there is four stamens, but something is missing there. There is a sterile stamen, it has been represented as crows. Okay, that is the staminoid. Staminoid in the other number, the can't check it. See, so we have a kidney shape pattern, the null stamens, and they are very fertile, and one sterile, sterile uh, stamen is also seen. Okay, now next we move to the main thing that is our what that is our 
കാർപ്പൽ സോ ദ ബൈ കാർപ്പലറി കണ്ടീഷൻ കണ്ടോ കാർപ്പൽ വരച്ചേക്കുന്ന കണ്ടോ കണ്ടോ ഭംഗിയില അതിന്റെ പ്ലാസന്റേഷൻ കണ്ടോ ഓവ്യൂൾസ് ആണ് ഈ വരച്ചേക്കുന്ന ഈ ബ്ലൂ കളറിൽ വിൽ ഡീൽ വിത്ത് ദയർ ഡയറക്ട്ലി വി വിൽ ഡീൽ വിത്ത് ഇതിപ്പോ ജസ്റ്റ് ഒരു അവയർനെസ് കിട്ടാൻ വേണ്ടിയാണ് ഐ ഹാവ് ടോൾഡ് യു ഫ്ലോറൽ സിമിട്രി നമ്പർ ഓഫ് സെപ്പൽസ് നമ്പർ ഓഫ് പെറ്റൽസ് നമ്പർ ഓഫ് സ്റ്റീമെന്റ്സ് ആൻഡ് നമ്പർ ഓഫ് കാർപ്പൽ സീ ദ ഡയഗ്രമാറ്റിക് വ്യൂ വെരി നൈസ്ലി ദ ഹാവ് മേഡ് ത്രൂ ഓക്കെ സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് ഓൾ അബൌട്ട് അവർ ഫ്ലോറൽ ഡയഗ്രത്തിന്റെ പാർട്സുകളാണ് ഇപ്പൊ അല്ലെ ഫൈവ് സിമ്പൽസ് ആണ് ഇപ്പൊ നമ്മൾ പഠിക്കുന്നത് ഓക്കെ സോ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഇസ് ഫ്ലോറൽ ഫോർമുല എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് എന്താണ് വി ഹാവ് ഓൾറെഡി ഡിസ്കസ് റിഗാർഡിംഗ് ദ ഡിഫറെന്റ് ടൈപ്സ് ഓഫ് ഫ്ലോറൽ ഫോർമുല വാട്ട് ഇസ് ദ ഡെഫിനിഷൻ ഫോർ ദ ഫ്ലോറൽ ഫോർമുല ആൻഡ് ഫ്ലോറൽ ഡയഗ്രറ്റി ഷോർട്ട് ഹാൻഡ് മെത്തേഡ് ആണ് അല്ലെ ഷോർട്ട് ഹാൻഡ് മെത്തേഡ് ഫോർ ദ ഐഡന്റിഫിക്കേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ ഫ്ലോറസ് so floral formulas are very useful for tool for uh, for identification of the angiosperm family ningalku ariyam ningal namu plant classification la padikkum gymnosperms um angiosperms um everything you will learn about it okay so there is various angiosperm family na identify cheyan vendiyana floral formula use cheyidekkunathu verde varakkana illa by careful observation of individual flower flower nokki adinte variation nokki whether it is different or same alle oru plant matte plant inna etra maatram vyathyasam undi winga rose thanne endalla colors undu alle white undu chavanari ile that is winga rose ya adinna nammal alkaloid edukkunnundu we have discussed yesterday and adinte pala colors undu okay so we have violet and we have white color flowers see the variation of the color of the flowers so all these are very carefully you should observe it okay floral formulas are very useful tool for remembering the characteristics of various angiosperm families kanda idu kanda or table kanda see look at this table there is a symbol there on the left side and the description on the right side idinathum namukku elupamayittu padikkan pattunnu namukku nokkam okay so I, i think uh, we have lot of uh, difficulties in learning this kanda idu vechiri paadana padikkan kan you should have a familiarity with the terms okay first is a bracted flower e bracted nu vechina bracted illa calyx poly polysepals nu arayumba they are not fused gamosepals nu arayumba they are fused കൊറോള കണ്ട സിമ്പിൾ കണ്ട കൊറോളയുടെ സി പോളി പെറ്റാലസ് മീൻസ് ദർ നോട്ട് ഫ്യൂസ്ഡ് എന്ത് ഫ്യൂസ്ഡ് അല്ല കൊറോള ഇസ് നോട്ട് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് പെറ്റൽസ് ആർ നോട്ട് ഫ്യൂസ്ഡ് ഗ്യാമോ പെറ്റാലസ് മീൻസ് ഓർ ഗ്യാമോ ഗ്യാമോ മീൻസ് ഫ്യൂസ്ഡ് ഫ്യൂസ്ഡ് പെറ്റൽസ് ഓക്കെ പി മീൻസ് വാട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് പെരിയാൻ പി മീൻസ് പെരിയാൻ പെരിയാൻ എന്ന് വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ നമ്മുടെ ഈ തെങ്ങില് തെങ്ങിലെ ഫ്ലവേഴ്സ് ഇല്ലേ തെങ്ങിലെ ഫ്ലവേഴ്സിൽ യു കുഡ് സി പെറ്റൽസും സെപ്പൽസും ഒരേപോലെ ആക്റ്റീവ് അതാണ് തെരിയാൻ നമ്മൾ പഠിക്കുക കേട്ടോ നിങ്ങൾ നിങ്ങൾ ഈ ഒരു ടേംസ് വെറുതെ ഞാൻ ഒന്ന് പറയുന്നത് നിങ്ങൾ കേട്ടാൽ മാത്രം മതി എ മീൻസ് ആൻഡ്രീഷ്യം ജി മീൻസ് ഗൈനീഷ്യം ആൻഡ് ജീന്റെ അടിയിലാണ് ലൈൻ വന്നിട്ടുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ യു ആർ കോളിംഗ് എ സുപ്പീരിയർ ഓവറി ജീന്റെ മോളിലാണ് ലൈൻ വന്നിട്ടുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ദർ ഇൻഫീരിയർ ഓവറി മെയിൽ ഫ്ലവർ ഫീമെയിൽ ഫ്ലവർ ബൈസെക്ഷൽ ഫ്ലവർ ആക്ടിനോമോഫിക് ഫ്ലവർ ആൻഡ് സൈഗോമോഫിക് ഫ്ലവർ ഓക്കെ സോ ഐ തിങ്ക് you understand regarding this uh, part so when we move on to this part we need to discuss something more i think we'll wind up with this topic so i think you, mo- you are more exhausted with this ningal idine kurichu oru awareness vanum engi mathrame we'll move to the next slides and all ee symbols ne kurichu oru awareness vanum okay so we will wait for the next class i think uh, this is okay for you now and i think uh, very much uh, you can go through it